Hello everybody and welcome back to Junkie Rock Commentary Channel. Today we have a big song to listen and to discuss. We have a brand new Red Hot Chili Peppers single called Eddie. So Red Hot Chili Peppers share Eddie Van Halen tribute song Eddie. So yeah, when I first saw this you know, song, when I woke up this Friday, I was thinking what? And my wife asked me, hey, they released a new song. Do you know which Eddie are they referring to? And I said, I have no idea. And apparently it was about Eddie Van Halen. Because Red Hot Chili Peppers, as I understand, were great friends with late and great Eddie Van Halen, especially John and Flea too. But John, John was a friend of him and he was one of his, you know, we can say idols, even though John Frusciante is not a, you know, Eddie Van Halen type of guitarist, if we can put it that way. So, but anyway, they released this song from the new upcoming album Return of the Dream Canteen, which will arrive on October 14th. The previous song, Tip of Tongue, I already analyzed and you can watch it. And in the previous video, we didn't have a sound because YouTube blocked it. And this time we are going to take it short. So if you want to listen to the whole song, I mean, you already listened to it, right? You're here because you want to hear some, you know, opinion about the song. So anyway, we are going to listen to some uh, clips of the song, some parts but we are going to discuss more. Let's see what they have to say here. Kiddis comments, sometimes we don't realize how deeply affected and connected we are to artists until the day they die. Eddie Van Halen was one of a kind. The day after his death, Flea came into rehearsal with an emotional bass line. John, Chad and I started playing along and pretty soon with all our hearts, a song in his honor effortlessly unfolded. It felt good to be sad and care so much about the person who had given so much to our lives. Yeah, nice. And yeah, the whole song, you know, the whole lyrics of the song, he speaks about Eddie. And we will see that later. Yeah, I guess all of us Red Hot Chili Peppers fans thought about, by the way, in this little particular segment of the song, the first five seconds, it's, it's totally, by the way, intro. So, as you can see here, we don't have a video, we have some visualizer, we can say it like that. I mean, it doesn't say here that it's a visualizer, but it is. There are some shapes that are changing on the screen. They did the same for Unlimited Love. They released the video for like Summer, of course, and then they released that, you know, cartoonish thing for Poster Child. So almost the same thing here. So the first verse is sailing the sunset strip, I'm a bit of a king, granny would take a trip, I've been bending the strings, got hammers in both my hands, such a delicate touch, they say I'm from Amsterdam, does that make me Dutch? Weddy and his brother Alex, yeah, they have the Dutch background, of course, so yeah, Anthony put it very smoothly there in this, in this first verse, I can say, and speaking of the song itself, I like the rhythm, I like the vibe, the song has a very, very good vibe, you know, sit in your car, put it on, drive around and enjoy, I like it, I like that part of the song. Great chorus, I like it. In the chorus, Anthony is singing, please don't remember me for what I did last night, oh, please don't remember me. Lord and children, please don't remember me, it's only 1980, it's only 1983. I don't know what is he thinking here, maybe he wants to, you know, portray how great Eddie Van Halen was, like, you know, saying, oh my god, what are the things that I am doing every night, it says here, for what I did last night, so what is Eddie Van Halen doing every night, playing a guitar in, in the, you know, Sunset Strip clubs 
in the beginning, of course. And maybe he's thinking about, yeah, please don't remember me for being such a good guitar player. I think that was it, you know, maybe not. I'm not a good, you know, lyrics analyst, but yeah, could be that. My brother's a keeper, married a TV wife, yeah. Eddie Van Halen's brother, Alex Sales Camaro, Sombrero. You get it? Nice, nice, nice old to, to the great guitar player. Yeah, so far I really like the song. I'm thinking of giving it a high grade. I mean, it's so cool. I really, really like the vibe. I really like the rhythm, the bass, and the drums are so perfect, so smooth, so so red hot chili peppers. And the guitar, the flavors, we're gonna talk about it a little bit later. Anthony too, great singing, very, you know, precise, I like it. So we're going to the bridge part of the song Tell me my love, but leave me never. Can complain about the weather, snowing in the rainbow, have a ball, cut my teeth down at the whiskey. Maybe he's referring to the great rainbow bar and grill and the famous whiskey a go go. I'm 100% sure that it is it. GTOs tried to kiss me one more song, they have seen it all. Yeah. Really nice bridge, or we, we can say bridge breakdown from that, you know, driving part of the song and that goes into the instrumental or the solo. Also, if you watch carefully this visualizer, you will see their silhouettes, silhouettes of Anthony, John, yeah, Chad and Flea, everybody is in there. So when you watch it on your big TV screens, pay attention to it. Here's some guitar shapes here, but I think that's more... Is it Eddie or is it John? I think it's John. Looks like a Shanti guitar. Looks like a Telecaster, actually. See the head here? Yeah, that's definitely a Telecaster head. Here we have one, you know, neck pickup and a bridge pickup down there. Yeah, it's a Telecaster, it's John Frusciante under this, you know, colors and shapes. Of course, that's his hair, that's his head, now we can clearly see him. As I mentioned earlier, the guitar part of this song is the best in the whole, in the whole, you know, whole track, because John played such a soulful and, you know, amazing solo here. Not only this one, there's gonna be one more. Yeah, of course, I've, I, I've already listened to the song. Don't judge me. I think he really, really, really nailed it. Yeah, he says here, Please don't remember me, it's only 1980, it's only 1983. Please don't remember me for what I did with David. You know I'm talking David Lee, David Lee Roth, of course. And then he says, am I ready? Please don't remember me for what I did last night. Oh, I guess I played a flying wee. So yeah, great ode to the Eddie Van Halen. And you know, from that instrumental part interlude from the first Jones solo, he plays the solo all the way to the end of the song which makes this song, you know, for us guitarists, a perfect thing, because, you know, John is not playing much solos in the Red Hot Chili Pepper solos. I mean, yeah, he has some, you know, spots where he shines, but in this song, he shines the most. He totally nailed it, he totally got it. This is John's song. I can see that he was, you know, a 
great friend of Eddie Van Halen and so he really gave his soul to this song and to these solo parts. You see he's still going, he's still going, you can hear the, the wow apparel, you can hear the pentatonics, the bendings, the, everything that John has in his, you know, guitar palette, which is amazing. Yeah, under this perfect, you know, rhythm and bass lines, under the doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo, you can hear the, you know, John's guitar scratching and screaming, and it's like a cherry on the top of the cake. As a guitarist, big plus for this, for what John did here. So cool, I mean, yeah, it's so easy to play, but it is like this, it's, it is so, so powerful. You know, sometimes you don't need to play some, you know, fast shreddy solos, overplayed things, sometimes you just need to put your Stratocaster in a Marshall amp or whatever, get a wawa pedal and do what John is doing here, this is pure rock and roll, this is, you know, this is precious. But as I told you in the beginning of this video, John is not a um, Eddie Van Halen type of guitar player, so he doesn't shred, he doesn't do the tapping things that Eddie, you know, implemented. It's more like Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Joe Perry slash type of guitar player. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You don't need to be exact copy of some other guitar player to be recognized as a good guitar player so yeah in my opinion so till the end of the song you see we are on um, 448 mark we have a minute more and he's playing and playing and playing but i cannot play you all this because youtube is going to block me so let's hear a little bit more and then to wrap it up So, what do I think about this song? I like this song, I'll give it a 9 or 10, very good song, and if we are going to compare and to make a parallel with Unlimited Love, this is the second single of the Dream Canteen, so the first one was Tipe Matong, and for Unlimited Love we had a first single Black Summer, and then we had Poster Child, so Black Summer was a great song, Tipe Matong was a great song, I think that, yeah, you know, Black Summer was maybe a little bit better, but there, there. And then we had Poster Child, and now we have this Eddie, and it's like this. So, Eddie is much, much better than Poster Child. And so far, after two singles, I can say that Dream Canteen is already a better album. But we'll see. We'll wait on that, and we will see until 14th of October, and then we are going to, you know make a conclusion which album is better but so far i like both songs and that gives me hope that we are going to get a better record than unlimited love so what do you think people how did you like this did you like this you know ode to great late eddie van halen did you like john's playing did you like how anthony constructed the lyrics referring to the the great guitar player write me in the comments like, share, subscribe, do what you want, tell me sorry about the music, so until next time, see you, ciao ciao, Red Hot Chili Peppers, rock on.